really did start with my parents. My parents are both very musically inclined and they really did translate that into my childhood. In grade seven, I did start playing the clarinet, but we also, we just moved into a new house. We bought a, this electric piano and I started to doodle on that as well. So those were the two true instruments that I started to really play and, and explore. You know, like whenever you start something, especially in the arts, what you, what you start off with is technicalities, right? It's like the theory of it all, and then you see, oh, this is how I play this. And then eventually when, when you start to gain the skill, you start to see nuances and, and more conceptual ideas of, of that art. And that really, that really spoke to me. When I would play a song, I would think, oh, this certain emotion would be evoked by this certain instrument. And I found in jazz, it was really that that desire to see, you know, the nuances in music, how, how something so physical, like as waves propagating in the in a medium, can can develop such non-physical things like emotion and memory. It's used in a way that was I I really liked it. You know, this is catchy. Oh, this is sad. Oh, now I'm happy again. Oh my God. Oh, this rhythm like it makes me want to dance and through that like you have to find your way through the music that's like causes much more impact then yeah one thing comes to mind is that simple is done is the best way again i think this this kind of it's true for a lot of the arts out there but as we grow and as we develop our skills they become more and more complex until you've gained a lot of skill and like a lot of complexity and you know everything and that's when you realize that go simple because simple is is what kind of it draws somebody in friendships especially in in social interactions like i don't have to be a sophisticated person to be interesting right just just saying hello to someone is is people go oh my gosh that person's friendly and then we, we can strike up a conversation and become quick friends. Something so simple. Or talking about things that are simple, like the weather. Like things don't have to be often like, you know, elevated or like, you know, so so scientific or polite or whatever. They don't have to be complex to to make a lasting impact. There's this festival called AIBF, Alberta International Band Festival, and it was specifically the jazz one. Usually when we go to the festival, it was such, it's such a stressful process because you want to win something, you want to do your best, you want to impress the adjudicators. But then that time, we knew we, were gonna win, we weren't going to win anything. We were eight people. We couldn't even get the harmonies g uh, going because we don't have enough people. So we went and we, we, we listened to a couple of bands before us. I don't know what, what came over us, but we were all so joyful. And we were like, yeah, you know, every time, the, every time someone did it, so we were like, yeah, you did so good. And it, again, it was something that came over us that like, even we, though we didn't have enough people, we didn't practice enough, the way we played kind of really just showed how happy we were to just be there. And it was just so fun to play. And of course, we didn't win anything because we did bad. But oh my Lord, that was one of my favorite performances. Yeah, when you're in something like music, it's easy to get caught up in who's better at playing, who's better at the theory, at the technicality, at the, the articulation, whatever. But the thing about music that makes it so special in humanity is, yeah, not the physical aspect of it, but what it, what it brings out in us as humans. And I know it's hard to focus on that when you're playing, but when you're playing, what you should be looking for is not to be good, but to play something that makes you happy. And no matter how simple it is, when you make the effort, uh, at the end of the day, it'll, it'll pay off. When you make a sincere effort.